Okay, so we are going into step three today. Okay, so first one was trying to get that club to hinge right away. That's step one. Step two, I'm just turning. So now I'm here. Now the one thing that I'm gonna do from here, step three is pretty easy from here, is that I'm just going to raise my arms up into this position right here. And as you can see, my right forearm is kind of parallel to the ground, particularly my bicep. So if you notice here, as I go to step two, or step one, step two, and then step three, I'm raising that club up, that club up to where my right arm is in kind of a pizza pie holding position or holding a tray of drinks. So if I got up to the top of the swing here, it's like I'm holding a tray of drinks right here. And this is a great position to get into because you got, got a couple of angles here, an angle in your right hand that's a kind of a power position there, and then also an angle in your right arm, which is another power position there, or power angle that's gonna create power in the downswing. So what I'm doing here is I'm going hinging to step one, step two, and then lifting my arms to step three. Now, step two to step three is a little bit discombobulated. This isn't actually what you would feel in the swing, but it's just a great step to feel just to get you into the position that I would like you to be in. So this is what it would look like from this point of view. Step one, hinging inside. Step two, making a turn. Step three, raising my arms up to where I'm holding that position at the top of the swing where I'm holding that pizza pie. And I'm in a perfect position there at the top of the golf swing there. Now, another way that you can kind of tell that I'm in a good position here also is that as I go from step two to step three, I'm raising my left arm up to where my left arm would be even with my right shoulder. So I don't want to raise it up so much to where it's like above my, my right shoulder, but I don't want it to stay in step two where obviously my left arm is below my right shoulder. So I'm raising it up to where it's matching my shoulder plane here. And then obviously that right arm's in that nice uh, pizza pie holding position there at the top of the swing. Now, watching two and three, it's not gonna look like this when you actually do it. So it's not gonna look like hinge, turn, and lift. That's not really what your whole backswing is gonna look like. It's gonna look more like this if you kind of marry them all together. And that's where I, we're gonna to try to get to at the top of that swing. So I'm kind of marrying, especially uh, step two and step three together. So if I kind of get step two, which is just pure turn, and step three, which is just pure lift, and I just do two and three together, then it looks kind of like this. So as I'm hinging, turning and then lifting it gets me into that perfect position at the top of the backswing and it looks kind of like this if you haven't done so already please go down to the red subscribe button at the bottom of my channel and go ahead and click on that and right next to it you'll see a bell and if you click that and go up to all you'll get notifications for all my future videos that i'm coming out with i try to come out with about three a week so if you want notifications for that please go ahead and do that now also if you like today's video please go ahead and click on the thumbs up like button that really really helps out my channel also, if you know anybody that could benefit from today's video, please go ahead and share this link with them so that they can see it as well. Lastly, if you have any comments or questions on today's video, please go ahead and put it down in the comments section. I try to read them all and give them all a reply. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I really hope this helps your game.